I'm trying to fully automate a YouTube channel with AI and I'm doing this to answer two questions. Can you fully automate a YouTube channel that posts long form videos? And number two, can you make money by doing so? And when I say automate a channel, let me clarify what that means. You have these gurus who have automated their channels, but really what they've done is they've developed a process that streamlines the video production. It was automated to the extent that people still did the work, but they themselves didn't need to be involved with the video production any longer. I am not doing that. That's not automation. I want to fully automate this process using software and AI. No humans involved whatsoever. You see, if we can develop this process successfully, we've basically developed a money printing machine because the bottleneck to scale for a YouTube channel is people. With software, you don't have that problem. No limit to scale. So it's worth cracking. The first challenge is going to be coming up with a channel, a strategy and a plan. And you always do this before you start a YouTube channel. AI is smart, but not smart enough to develop videos like this. No. Not yet anyway. So we need to be really clever here. We need to understand what are the criteria that's going to make us stand out. That was a great transition. And this is my criteria. These videos need to be repeatable. They need to not involve very complex editing and they need to be long format videos. The reason they need to be longer format videos is because if we do want to make money from this channel, the videos need to be longer so Google can show more ads to the viewer, which means I get a bigger cut of the revenue. And I have it. ASMR. These are videos that include sounds and visuals that give you a similar feeling that you're going to get when you watch this video. These videos get millions of views, they are very long, and most importantly, they are repeatable and predictable. And this video product is one that allows me to get recurring attention. Now, the only way we're really gonna win here is if we develop content that people are going to watch. So I need to figure out how we're gonna stand out from the crowd. You see, ASMR exists in various different markets, and I'm never gonna be able to get AI to compete in the market of soap carp. But there is one market that I can compete in quite well trigger words. This is a type of ASMR where people repeat words in different ways and it's supposed to sound soothing. And this is something I can do with AI. So now I need a strategy and I need a plan. You have to do this before starting any channel, otherwise you're wasting your time. I did a full video on this previously, so let's go back and listen to what I said. A strategy is how you aim to capture the attention. A plan is what you do to execute that strategy and measure its effectiveness. Thanks Dara from the past. This is what I have planned for this AI ASMR channel. The format are going to be videos between 15 and 20 minutes long and the recipe is going to be AI generated content and a fiddling around with the concept and idea. I have a sneaky surprise ready for you in a bit and the plan is the following. I'm going to release five videos then I'm going to look at the data and see which ones performed best on search because this is going to be a search channel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to iterate on that process, find out which videos worked best and repeat until I have a format that works or until I have what I call video market fit. I took that from absolutely no startup lingo. Okay, enough theory. Let's put this into practice. The first thing I needed to do was develop one of these videos myself manually so I could then preempt any issues that the AI might face. These are the four blocks I was running through to create the video. First off, we have the packaging. Now the titles I'm going to do myself, but for the thumbnails, I'm going to use prompt on mid journey. I used some of these prompts and I came up with some pretty nice images if I do say so myself and I think they are ASMR worthy so I'm going to use them. Now onto scripting. Okay this is the part that I had to get really inventive because I don't know a lot about ASMR myself so what I did is I went online and I found 10 trigger words that people tend to you know get off of. <laughs> what I did is I then fed those words into ChatGPT to generate more words that I can use for my script. But here's the catch. They can't be real words. They can only be fake. I'm doing this because it's a little bit different to anything else out there. Plus, it doesn't make sense of you listening to real words while trying to relax. If you're listening to made up words, you can just dissociate yourself from them and you can, you know, get the best session possible. So this is the idea that I'm going to test out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run this ChatGPT prompt. Okay, nice. Now we got to turn this to audio. Okay, so I've got my script and now I'm going to use Eleven Labs to create the voiceover. Now, because this is ASMR audio based content, I really need to make sure that the audio is good. And by good, I mean pleasing to the ear. Let me just get up a sample of Eleven Labs voice so we can hear it. Dara is a legend. <laughs> 
So that's good, but I wouldn't exactly call it relaxing. It's a good thing that I have plan B. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to train a new voice based off somebody who already does ASMR content. So I found a soothing voice I liked, copied the link, and then popped this into a YouTube to MP3 converter. After downloading the file, I inserted this into the voice cloning technology of Eleven Labs, and voila, I had a new soothing AI voice. Let's try it again. Yeah, I think this is gonna work. Okay, time to put the video together. The intention of this is that it's an audio experience. So we're not gonna do anything fancy with the editing here. So a little while ago, I spent 15 minutes just putting together the audio and the thumbnail on Final Cut Pro. And lo and behold, we now have our video products. Play the clip. Flipper flap, more glitz, blibber doodle, schnoodle plump, snickerdorf, loopity floop, gee as a doodle, scrump lump, whistle flap, ding, gleb lord. <laughs> right, let's automate it. <clears throat> okay, I have a confession. I don't have the skills to automate this, but I do have a guy. His name is Daniel, and he's a lot smarter than I am. We were previously working on a project where we were trying to automate the production of clips for podcasts, so this kind of stuff is right down his wheelhouse. So I'm going to message him right now with this idea. So I messaged Daniel, hashed out my idea, and we came up with a plan. And within a couple of days, we had the entire system ready. Okay, I'm going to press a button in a second and I'm going to tell you exactly what's going to happen when I do. When I press that button, a message is going to be sent to Daniel. Once I do this, Daniel is going to run a Python script, which will send a command to ChatGPT. ChatGPT will then generate us that script, which will then automatically be sent to Eleven Labs to do the voiceover. The thumbnail that we've already produced is then going to be combined with the voiceover on Premiere Pro and then exported. Once exported, this video is going to be automatically uploaded to my YouTube channel on private, ready for me to release it. Here we go. Yeah, nothing's gonna happen yet because there's a lag between when I get it and when he gets it. Just cut to when it works. <laughs> this is class. So in a matter of seconds, we've actually managed to automate the entire video production process with no humans involved. And let's like take a bit of a look here. There is a discrepancy here with the length of the formats, but it's still within uh, our duration format, and if we take a look here and look at the video, Zoogle Doodle Doodle, Gibber Plamp, Schnickle Go Wiz, Wobble Crunch, Gibber Plink, Bippity Bob Bob, Flipper World, Dabble Dabble Wiz, Snickerdorf, Wiz. Cool. We did it, and I'm bloody chuffed because a lot of work went into that. But we've answered the first question. You can fully automate a channel using AI. No humans involved. So the strategy is now underway. Time to execute on that plan and see if we can actually make money with this. Let me schedule these, change around some of the titles and keywords, see which ones perform best, and we'll give it a week. Okay, so while we wait for these results to come in, let me give you three tips if you're planning on trying this yourself. The first tip is that for this to work, you don't necessarily have to automate it as much as I have. This stuff can get very expensive very, very quickly, and I'm just lucky to have a friend that can do this for me. If you don't have this resource, I would do this process manually yourself until you know you found video market fit. Yeah, it's gonna take you a little bit more time and it's not technically automated, but once you do find that fit, you can then be confident to put the money or the resources behind that software to scale it up. Tip number two, the most important thing in this entire process is the channel concept. If you don't have a repeatable and a predictable idea, you will not be able to scale the videos. And if you don't have a unique idea, you are not going to be able to produce videos that will help you stand out. The bar on YouTube is ridiculously high right now. So if you decide to do documentary level videos, you're gonna be compared against the likes of James Janney. And it's gonna be a very long time before AI is gonna catch up with someone like James Janney. That's why I opted to try and create my own market within the attention market of ASMR. Because I'm doing something completely new, I'm competing against technically nobody which gives me a tangible chance of succeeding. And tip number three, I fundamentally believe you will not be able to do this with YouTube Shorts. Yes, you can develop automated YouTube Shorts videos. In fact, it's much easier to do that than long form videos, but it's not sustainable. It's not sustainable in the long run because the monetization element of it is so much harder. And yeah, you might get views, but you'll struggle to get revenue. And here's your bonus tip. This is an experiment that may or may not work out, but there's a bigger meaning behind it. If you create content and ignore AI, you will be left behind and you will not be successful in this industry. Okay, well, on that happy note, let's hop into the future and get the results. 
Okay, let's hope that clap transition worked. So it's been about a week since we've launched all the videos and we have some pretty interesting results to share. The first interesting result, which is actually a net positive for us, is that the majority of our views came from YouTube search, which is good because this is a search based channel. Now the slightly discouraging news after that is that we only have 27 views on our video, which you know is a decent starting point for us to get a little bit of data to iterate on. For example, if we do look at the content here, we see that the majority of the views, 15 views, came from this video here, AI ASMR trigger words, amazing for studying. So what we can do is we can take iterations of this title and use it for these videos that we already have here and new videos that we're gonna release which should help us iterate on the performance of our packaging. Now, one thing that does have me slightly worried here is our watch time our AVD, it's incredibly small. And we do know that the people that did watch our videos were people who wanted ASMR trigger words, and they clearly didn't like the concept. Now we do have a very small data set, 27 people is not a lot. So this isn't conclusive yet, but what I would say is that I'm gonna keep a very close eye on how long they viewed our videos for. Because right now it's proving to us that maybe this new concept that we came up with isn't going to work and we can have the best packaging in the world but if the video concept doesn't get views then we're kind of wasting our time. And if this does end up being the case, we may need to pivot, swap our niche to something like meditation. Now we're only gonna do this after we have some tangible data, i.e. 10 videos that are gonna be released. So we will wait until then until making the decision. I definitely wanna get a qualitative insight as to whether you think this can work, whether this can't work. We'll use that in the decision to see whether we're gonna keep on going with this video or change it up. So we've answered question one. Yes, we can automate these videos. Question two is yet to be answered, but stay tuned. We'll see you in the next one. Slot.